At the heart of Rudy's Rare Records is this three generations of the Sharp family. Uh, Rudy, the grandfather, Adam, the kind of disgruntled, unhappy middle generation, and then Richie, his son, who's, who's a teenager. This is a situation that appeals to everybody, that everybody can understand. You know, we've all got grandparents who are out of touch, or, or fathers who wind us up, or, or kids that we worry about. So whilst clearly being Jamaican is a huge part of who they are, um, I think, you know, I don't feel like this is a show that only a Jamaican audience will understand or, you know, only an audience who like music will understand. I think this is a thing that appeals to everybody because it's about trying to get on with our family members. When we're doing the Radio 4 show, we felt music was so important in giving it an energy that between scenes we'd have these classic reggae, ska, even hip hop tracks. And it just made the whole thing lurch along so kind of energetically. We also have Toots and the Maytels and Prince Buster and Bob Marley and the Whalers, and we have some hip hop, and we have some grime because Richie's into grime and dubstep. So there's a real mixture of music. In terms of the the music that's being played with a live band, it, it, having a live band really makes a difference. Like you go to a concert and you have like uh, uh, just everything playing through speakers. It's not the same as having that live band and having that music where you can literally connect with the musicians as well as the, uh, the actors on stage. And all the songs that are being played. Are, are songs that are kind of like my parents and my grandparents and stuff have all grown up with. So it's great to even get that experience and get that knowledge of what kind of music they used to listen to and how greatly influenced they were by it. It's definitely going to be a show that makes you laugh. I hope it might even make you cry at points, but it will certainly make you tap your feet and shake your booty.